to the MP form. Today is a good day. Good evening, guys. I just see three of you, Agdiel, Mauricio, and Mario. And Mauricio. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Magdiel. Hello. How's it How going? Are you? How are you today? How's everything? Uh, everything is okay. All right. That is good to know. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that you're okay. And uh, tell me, how was your, your day, your Wednesday? Um, for me, it's like, a, it's like a Friday because tomorrow is day off for me. Really? Really? Yes. All right. That is really good. That's really good. I'm, well, because, I'm tomorrow is, because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? Thanksgiving. Tomorrow yeah, is it's... Thanksgiving. Yeah, it is tomorrow, actually. Yeah, you're right. Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's too bad we do not celebrate it in El Salvador. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it is something we should celebrate in El Salvador, too. Yeah. We, we don't do it. Only the, the North American people do it. And tell me how was how was your day at work? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Hiring? It was a little difficult. A little difficult because mm -hmm. uh, we had to do maintenance uh, to electric generator. All right. And we have to change oil. The generator is. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice tamaño? Size. Uh, what? Size is like um like a vehicle, a car, completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the motor, the the engine is like a vehicle. Your size. The vehicle. Yeah. As big as big as a vehicle, vehicle. Yeah, it's big, so big. I get it. <clears throat> yeah. Right, right. So it was a uh, a little difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Imagine the. Then the oil that we have to use is uh, one drum and a half. Yes. Around the seventy seventy five gallons. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to be yeah. honest. You say this a lot. But uh the good thing is my deal is that you're going to rest tomorrow. You're not going to do anything. You're going to be well, I'm guessing that you're going to be in your house. I am not really sure about that. Maybe you're gonna go out with your family or something, but the good thing is that you're not working tomorrow. You're going to have a day off. That's awesome. That's good news. Good news. Let me see. Mauricio, welcome. Yulisa, Elizabeth, Marilyn, Emerson, Mario. Guys, how's everything today? How are you? How is your Wednesday going? Or how is your Wednesday wrapping up? Because we're about to finish it, you know, as you can see. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Emerson. Well, actually, I'm still working, but um, looks like uh, all the stores are, are running out of internet. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, because what are we're not getting uh, enough calls as usual, but uh, I try to do my best uh, attending in the class today. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, because... Uh... Uh, it's only Magdiel, Marilyn, and Mauricio, the ones that are not, I'm guessing, that are not going to be as listeners. I see you, Mario, and Stephanie. They have uh, the listener part over there. 
right before yeah. your names. So, well, I hope you participate, Emerson. We have a a very very interesting top grammar topic today. I find it interesting because I use it a lot. I use it a lot, and it is is it is kind of interesting. Yes, it's good to know about that. It is, yesterday, uh, I saw, yesterday yes. I saw that you were sharing a uh, another uh, another PowerPoint. So I don't know if you were able to share it in the WhatsApp. Yesterday. Yeah. I'm just, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I, it was uh well the 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 little that I watch in the in the class, we were, were talking about the from network, network things. But I don't I was checking later the PDF, but that's another another thing, another document. Oh, I don't remember. Well, maybe maybe if, if we can when we start the class, maybe uh, we can do a little review from that from yesterday. So I I will I will be aware of checking that and I will let you know if if I, if it's this that that document. Yeah, because yesterday we were talking about uh, digital marketing. That was the topic that we practiced or or talked about yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay, don't, don't don't worry. I will check in the, the PDF and I will be trying to, to be right. able here in the class. Yes, yes, yes. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right, I'll I'll be here. Yes. Sure, teacher. Thanks. Well, Mauricio, hello, Mauricio. How are you? How's everything today? It's Wednesday, people. <laughs> Well, you today are... was great for me. Um, today was my first day to 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 work. Yeah, you went work. back to work today, right? You went yes, back to work today, after yeah. five days. Yes, after, after five days. days. Yes, and I'm, I'm feel good. And I didn't have uh, a lot of customers, but uh, it was okay for me. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving. That means I'm going to to have a. Uh, uh, less customers because they they is in the United States and they celebrate that special day and and probably they will not have time to to spend to chat or call us tomorrow and I'm going to take a little rest but um, well I hope I hope I that know. that's how it goes probably. I hope I hope that, that's how it will go yeah. There's, uh yeah tomorrow is Thanksgiving. There's going to be a lot of celebration around uh, the U.S. So people are gonna be busy buying and uh and selling a lot of things. So they might not have, or they will not have time to be making phone calls or or or, or things like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Excellent. Thank you for for joining. Marilyn, are you there? How are you, Marilyn? I don't see your microphone. I think you're not using one right now. All right. Please, Javier, Luis Fabricio. Hello, guys. How's everything, Julissa? Good evening. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining. We are about to start. How are you, Fabricio? Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. I'm here. All right. Excellent. Welcome. How are you? How do you feel? Uh, I feel, I think that I feel um, just a little tired, but it's okay. It's part of my job. Yeah. Besides that, I think that everything's okay, teacher. I have been processing uh, several um pedidos orders and the internal orders. process and the internal process is sometimes a little uh or oh, a bit complicated but mm. i used to <clears throat> already all right you're used to it already yes all right well the good thing is that you are here, Fabricio, and thank you for joining. I know you are making a lot of effort to be here. 
and everybody is making a lot of effort to be here. I know it is difficult after working after a long day after like being stressed after getting some frustration some tires on and uh, i know i i understand so i thank you guys i really appreciate your effort and uh well let me take attendance and we'll be ready to start we'll be ready to start diego jose Benitez leiva is not here yet Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Evening, teacher. And my mistake, I forgot to uh, remove as a listener. It, I will be happens. able to participate. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to be asking you questions. Okay. A lot of okay. questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, take it easy. All right. Let me remove it. I, if you don't want to talk, I, I can do it. I can do it right now, but not tomorrow or the other days. You can change it back later on. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, Eric Enrique Reyes, oh, sorry, Emerson Alexander Lopez. Lopez. Uh, Present. All right. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez is not here right now. Then we have Ulysses Amiet. Villalta Villalta. I haven't seen her. See, yes. Thank you for joining. Carla Ivania Nayancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez López. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. All right, all right. And then we have uh, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. All right. And Raul Elgardo, but Raul is not here right now, I think. But yes, he's there. He's there. Sorry. You change your back. Okay, we got it. We got it. Give me a second. Okay, we're gonna start. Let me show you the what I usually do at the beginning is this. I show you the first first uh, slide of the session, and uh, as you know, if you are counting, today is the class number seventeen. Yes, it's Wednesday, twenty second. I mean November twenty second. So we are ready to start. We have uh, a lot to do today. There are many things that we have to cover. There's, a, like I said before, there is an interesting grammar topic. Very useful. I use it a lot. It's very good to know about it. And, uh, well, I will show it to you later on. Right now, I'm going to share the, the book. Because in the book, we have uh, some questions that we're going to discuss. It says there, uh, well, we continue talking or dealing with digital marketing. Today's objective is this one. I will be able to describe the fundamentals 
of two digital marketing strategies. We're gonna see about this later on. Let's begin with these two questions. Well, the first one, what are some examples of popular search engines? Engines. I have heard engines, engines, but no, it's engines, engines, search engines. So the question is, what are some examples of popular search engines? Guys, what can you say about this? Let me ask people directly because I don't usually get volunteers. So I'm going to be asking directly right now or today. Let me see. Stephanie, what are the most popular uh, search engines that you know? Sorry, what it means engine is? Engines. Engines. Okay, engines is, uh, how can I say this? It's the motor, motor. Like cars, motorcycles, they have an engine, a motor, motor. Oh, okay. It's, it's, in Spanish, motor. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right, yes. Where are some examples of popular search? Mm. Mm, like the brand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. I don't know if I got the idea of the question, but I don't know, like Toyota? No. <laughs> okay. No. Um, it's, not a, it's, not about, it's not about machines, like cars or motorcycles. It's about search, search engines. I don't know about engines. <laughs> uh, can I? Yes, yes, of course. Sorry, sorry. Uh... Yes. Hey, welcome. Long time no see. <laughs> yes. We hear you. Okay, we can we cannot hear you. Sure, sir. My connection is unstable. Hello? Do you hear Hello? me? Hello? I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Thank you. Thank you. Can you repeat okay. what you said? Okay. The, the most popular web, web search engine is Google. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, Google, Yahoo. Yes. Uh, Bing is another browser. Bing, exactly. Yes, it is another one. All right. Well, you have mentioned uh, the most popular uh, right now or nowadays, and that one is Google. Google is the most popular search engine there is. There is no other search engine like Google. Yes. Yes. And uh, I have seen a couple of them. Yahoo, uh, Bing, is the one that you mentioned, Ask is another one. Uh, I cannot think of any more right now. I'm, we're going to do some digging right now. Yes. So, Stephanie, do you have an idea now? <laughs> right? Those are the search engines. Yes. <laughs> right, right. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So, as I was saying, the, the best, the most common or the most popular search engine that we have in 2023 is Google. Yes, in Google or using Google, we can find, we can find anything. We can find anything. Like literally we can find anything. Yes, but let me see. I do not know many uh, search engines. What are some of the most popular, <laughs> most, most popular computing for search engines here we go okay let me show you some of them 
because I, I don't know much about it. I know a couple of them. Yeah, look at them. Uh, we got the best one, the father of all of them. Of all of them is Google. We got Yahoo. We got uh Baidu. I don't know. I think I'm guessing it's China, it's Asian or something. Uh, we got the uh, Wolfram Alpha. No idea about it. I don't know this one. I know Ask. I know that. Uh, I know Duck Duck Go. Uh, this one Dog File. I don't know. Jandex. Uh, A O I. Uh, I yes. By Baidu. The the next one to Google to Yahoo. Sorry, is the Google in China. Is oh, equivalent, really? uh -huh, really? equivalent of, of Google in China. Really? Is it similar or why? Do they, they don't use Google in China? But I mean, mm. in Asia? No, no. No, no. In China, no, because all the American companies are blocked. So there is no Facebook, WhatsApp. So basically, Chinese have any any application that we know in, in West. They have a, They have their own version. Oh okay, so you, we do you mean uh China or Asia? No, no, uh, just China. All oh, right, all right, just China. Mm -hmm. China is the one that uh, is uh, having issues with the U.S. Right. <laughs> all mm -hmm. right, all right. Yes, and uh, okay. Thank you for the information. I did not know about that. But I do. Okay, now I know. I'm going to look for some information about that later after class. It looks interesting. Not I know I don't know this one I don't know this one and uh, look we got a uh a graphic over here in which we can see excuse me the best search engines in the twenty first century we got Google Google is the most common one we got Bing oh that was the, the iPhone for Bing I right? okay Yahoo Yandex Baidu that that go and uh, other search engines. Okay, these are the most common ones. Uh, something I really hate about, about, I don't know if it is Google or Google Chrome, the application or something, is that sometimes it uh, configures itself and sometimes it changes the search engine to Yahoo or to Bing. And I hate those, those search engines. I mean, they are good, but in comparison with Google, they have or they are no match to Google. No search engine is matched to Google right now. Like Google is the the most popular, the most efficient, the the best. You can find it. Like I said, you can find anything in Google. Whatever, whatever you what you're looking for, you find it there. It's good or bad, you find it there. Yes. All right, thank you for participating in the information. What is a good way to attract possible customers to the website of your product or service? Let me see, let me give you, excuse me, let me give you two, two minutes to generate ideas, to come up with ideas, to answer this question, and I'm going to be asking individually, okay? The question is, what is a good way to attract possible customers to the website where you have uh, your product or service. Yes. Let me give you two minutes, guys. Start thinking about it. And uh, I need I need to get some water right now real quick. Mm -hmm. Water. All right, come back. Got the water. No, it's almost half past eight. Time is going really fast.
All right. Time's up. Let's see. Let me choose people directly, and you're going to give me some of, of your ideas. This is going to be your point of view, all right? If you, don't, don't worry about it. It's just your point of view. Let's see. Let's start with Fabricio. Fabricio, what are uh, or what is a good idea to attract possible customers to the website of your product? Well, teacher, it's difficult, but yeah, I think that one of the possible ways it will be um, attract potential clients uh, to um, referidos, refer referrals. Refer yes, referred. Uh, I think that that's a, a good way to to attract uh, potential customers. Okay. Another could be um, como se dice? Uh, make service. Uh, para conocer el gusto de los consumidores. Come again, please. Para conocer, hacer encuestas para conocer el gusto de los consumidores. Oh, run, run service. Run. Run service? Yes. To know to the know people's needs. The people's needs. Yes. Okay. All right. Good ideas. Thank you for sharing them, Fabricio. Excellent. Let's see what uh, Magdiel has to say about this one. Magdiel, let's hear your opinion. What is the best way or what is a good way to attract customers to the website where you have your service or product? It's commonly nowadays put advertising at the beginning of the videos in YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that's the, 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 the a good way. Yes, I think this is a I think this is a good way that beside the sometimes um, I I want I want to see the video, and but I have to wait three or five seconds to to push next. Yes, but I think this is opinion. a good good. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, but I think it is a good way to attract because okay. I I have to to see. Uh, mandatory for three seconds. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's no. There's no way you cannot remove the, the ad. The only way to remove the ad is by by getting YouTube Premium. But that involves paying <laughs> paying money. But it is not really necessary. We can wait three seconds. Yes. Yeah, three seconds is is mandatory. Exactly. Exactly. It is. It is mandatory. All right. Okay, so that's a good way as well. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's one of the most common ways nowadays, like uh, on, on Facebook or social media, especially on Facebook and YouTube. But Facebook, I'm talking about videos. When you watch videos on Facebook or reels on Facebook, you get the, the, the ads as well as on, uh, on YouTube. Of course, right, because you see only videos over there. You get a lot of ads, but when you go to different applications, uh, for example, TikTok, Twitter, or those ones, well, I don't know Twitter because I have never used it. I've used uh, TikTok uh, a, a, a little. So in this one, we don't see many, many uh, ads. Yes, but that's Twitter, a... um, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter yes. has uh, ads. Okay. Well, I didn't know because I, I don't use Twitter. I never learned, I never liked it. I never learned how to use it. So if, if they were saying that Twitter has ads, it has ads, yes. All right, excellent, excellent, thank you. Let's see uh, what Elizabeth thinks. Elizabeth, what can you say? What is a good way to attract customers to the website where you have your product? Um, nowadays, I think the most 
popular way to attract customers is through social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and yes, uh, making marketing about your website with um, like the most relevant things or your product or service with attractive colors and yes, I think on that way. All right, excellent, thank you. Yes, when this uh when this new YouTube era began, I mean I'm talking about when this uh YouTube ad thing began, because uh back then a couple of two or what I don't know, like two years ago there was no uh there were no ads on YouTube, right? There were no ads, so I'm talking about like the new era of YouTube where they began uh displaying displaying ads of different companies. But the beginning of it, uh, they did not show a lot of, uh, I mean, they only showed the uh, popular companies or powerful companies. And now you can find anything there. I have seen uh, ad hoc uh, ads, Don Pollo ads. I've seen uh, a lot of things that right there, yes. Of companies that from, from El Salvador, yes, as well as companies from different countries, yes. All right. Do I have any uh, other opinion? A volunteer, someone that can give me an opinion? No. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Now it's time to continue working or dealing with the second part. It says there. Samuel and Isabel are going through some steps to improve their search engine optimization, CEO strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with the partner. And uh, this is uh, the tab question I was telling you about or what the, the grammar topic I was telling you about earlier. It's uh, interesting, easy to understand, Complex, yes, it is complex. There are many things that we, we have to know or there are many structures that we have to know or auxiliaries that we have to know to understand that better. Okay, let me read the, the conversation to you. If there are questions about the vocabulary, about pronunciation or anything else, let me know. The content manager revised the list of uh, keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him, I will tell him to revise the key the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with the search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome uh later for the specialist. It's uh, it's good that I asked you, isn't it? There you go. All right. Yes, questions, people. I got some problems right now with, with some uh, plague. Questions about the vocabulary? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, very good. That's okay, that's okay. Yes. I got some yellow ants running around. All right, I need volunteers to participate. Uh, yes, let me get some volunteers. Then I'm going to ask you directly. Me, teacher. Okay, we start with Elizabeth. Who is reading? Me, teacher. Her? Okay, and Emerson. Emerson, you are somewhere, and Elizabeth is Isabel. The queen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The content manager devised the list of keywords. Didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I, I didn't. I would tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for you 
the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Switch roles, please. Okay. The contact the contact manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords. I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually included them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes. It will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? All right, thank you both Emerson and Elizabeth for participating. Let me get two more volunteers, guys. Me, okay, teacher. We have Magdiel and uh, Luis Fabricio. All right, Magdiel, you start with Samuel and Fabricio is Isabel and then you switch roles. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? The content, okay, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it. Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? All right, thank you. Let's continue with the two more volunteers, guys. Volunteer yourselves. I'm waiting. I want to try. Okay, we got Eric. Me too, teacher. Okay, and we have uh, Diego. Diego, you are Samuel, and Eric is Isabel, and then you switch roles. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did, you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome. Later for the specialist, it's good that, that I asked you, isn't it? Rose. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords. I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before. We actually include, include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Will we? Yeah. Yes, it will be very troublesome later for your specialist. Sorry, later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation, for practicing. Let's see Mauricio and uh, Ronald. Um, I'm Samuel first. Wait, Ronald, are you there? Ronald doesn't want to be Isabel. 
I'm not there. Let me try with, we got a new student, Asia. Who is Asia? All right, all right. Let me, let me help you, Mauricio. I am uh, Isabel, you are Samuel, all right? Go ahead, you start. Okay, Um, the content manager re re revised the list of the key, revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. It will tell him to revise the keywords before he actually include them in the site. We want to have problems related with search engine optimization, will be? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Now I begin. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords, I thought you did it. Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have a prob we won't have problems later with the search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later. Later for the specialist, it's good that I asked you. Isn't it? In? All right, all right. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you guys for participating. Let's continue working with the book or on the book. We have a part three. Read the conversation again and complete the sentences below. Number one, the content manager revised the list of keywords. I thought you did. You did it. Four, we won't have problems later with the search engine optimization. And uh, it's good that I asked you. Yes. Do you remember the the... The tag question. Help me out. I need your help. The first one is uh, didn't he? Okay. Didn't he, right? Oh, the question mark is already there. Yes, here we go. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? Okay, we got it. Thank you. Number two, I thought you did. Didn't, didn't you? you? All right, thank you both. Didn't you? The question mark is already there, so I'm not going to uh, add it. There you go. Three, we won't have problems later with the search engine optimization will we will we oops question mark will we all right thank you four it's good that i asked you isn't it isn't it oops question mark again all right we got it right there very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Let's go back up over here and uh, let's deal with this again. All right. What is what is the tag question in Spanish? Do you know what this is in Spanish? Didn't he? Did you? Will we? And isn't it in Spanish? What is it? Do you have yes, any ideas? It's, it's like verdad. Something like that. Yes. Yes. Um. And I think that it's another form to say uh, right. Um, right, right, exactly. yes. Yes. It's another way to say the word right. Are you coming to the party, right? Well, that's a question. You're coming to the party, right? You're working, right? In Spanish, like could it be, uh, no es así? No es así. Verdad o sí, Cierto. o no? For example, the content manager revised the list of keywords, o no, o sí. 
or no? In this case, it's or no. Uh, we won't have problems uh, later with the search engine optimization or C. Right? It's good that I asked you better that. Right? That's how it goes. Yes. Very good. The the problem here is that we need to know what what structure we're using or what structure we're dealing with in order to use the tag question. But let me show you, show that to you right now. Before we go to the presentation, we're gonna see the the, the definition right here. How to use tag questions? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Tag question, it says there. Hold on. That question turn questions turn a statement into a question. What is a statement? Statement, there are two types of statements. Affirmative, affirmative statements and negative statements. Example, affirmative, I am happy. Very easy. I am happy. That's an affirmative statement. A negative statement is the opposite. I am not happy. Another example. I drink soda. That is affirmative. That is an affirmative statement. I drink soda. The opposite of this is I don't or I do not drink soda. Right? Those are the statements. Okay? Yes. We got the statements and we have the questions. We don't use we don't use uh tag questions with questions. It's redundant. We only use tag questions when the sentence is affirmative or negative. Yes. We use them to check information that we think is true. Look at this. If the main clause is positive, the tag question is negative. For example, the content manager revised. This sentence over here is affirmative. It is in the past form, but the sentence or the, the statement is affirmative. It says here, if the main clause is positive, then the tag question will be negative. That's why we have didn't, didn't he, didn't he. Another example. He is, look, is, is affirmative. He is in charge of designing our new web page. Isn't he? Isn't, because we have is over there. If the main clause is negative, the tag question is positive. He isn't, look at this. He isn't, is the negative of this one. He isn't in charge of designing our new web page. Is he? There wasn't an increase in the traffic yes in the traffic yesterday. Was there? Was there? Why was there? Because we're using was and there, right? But let me show you with more examples to understand it better. We're dealing with this right now. Hold on. All right, let's begin. We got the tag question. Tag questions. Let me help you out with some details about tag question. One, one important characteristic about it is that we can use it with statements only, with statements only. There you go, affirmative or negative, yes, yes. Another thing is if the, if the statements is affirmative, the tag is negative. 
if the statement is negative, the tag is affirmative. Yes. We can use tag questions with all structures. With all the structures, we can use tag questions with uh, all auxiliaries. With all auxiliaries, what else? Let me think of this. Oh, we do not use tag questions with questions. All right. Yes, there you go. Tag questions. We can we can use use it or use them with statements only, affirmative or negative. If the statement is affirmative, the tag is negative. If the statement is negative, the tag is affirmative. Yes. Uh, we do not use tag questions with questions. No. We use tag questions with all auxiliaries, including more verbs such as can, should, would, and all of those. And we can use tag questions with all structures. Okay, do not forget about this. Very important. Can anyone read the definition for that question? Anyone? What is what? a question tag? What is a question tag? Is grammar a question tag? Is a very short close at the end of a statement, which change, changes the statement into a question. Okay, there you go. Look. Oh, you can say you, you can say tag questions or you can say question tag. It is the same. In grammar, a question tag is a very short clause at the end of a statement, well, which changes which changes the statement into a question. And look at this question tag. Are you, was he, do you, did she, have I, had they, will you, should I, isn't it, wasn't he, don't he, don't they, didn't he, haven't they, hadn't we, won't she, mustn't he, etc. These are not all of them. These are not all of them. We have more. We have can. We have would, I don't see would over here. I don't see could. Mm, what else? What else? I don't think everything is here. I don't see am, are. Mm, so we, we have more. Sorry? It could be might. Okay, might, may. But no, 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 those ones, no. We don't really use them like that. We don't really use those ones. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look at the next part. Take a look at it. The tag question, more, more uh, details about it. It says there, the tag question will depend on two essential aspects. The auxiliary in the statements. It can be either an affirmative or negative auxiliary. I'm talking about is, isn't, are, aren't, will, will not, or won't, can, can't, should, shouldn't, etc. Two, if the statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. The comma is missing. Again, if the statement is affirmative, comma, the, the tag question is negative. And if the statement is negative, the tag question is affirmative. Let's take a look at these examples. Let's take a look at these examples. The teacher will present a grammar topic to students. Can you give me, can you give me the tag question? The teacher will present a grammar topic to students. Wouldn't he? 
Why? Why would? Won't he? There you go, exactly. You have to. Yes, in these case, sorry. These cases, yes, tell me. No, sorry. I, I said wouldn't and, and yes, it's won't. Yes. Yes. The tag question will depend, like I said, in uh will depend on two aspects. One, the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is will. Two, the structure. In this case, the structure is future. The teacher will. Will is the auxiliary that we're going to use at the end. I mean, the one that we're going to use for the tag question, like this. Wait, what? There you go. The teacher, I have he over here because I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me, okay? That's why I have he. The teacher will present a grammar topic to students, won't he? All right. Carla will not participate in class today. Can you give me the tag question? Try. Will her? Will she, sir? Okay. Will she? Let's see. There you go. Excellent. Carla will not participate in class today, will she? Mauricio speaks Chinese pretty well. Mauricio speaks Chinese pretty well. Konnichiwa. No, that's a Japanese, right? <laughs> Guys, what Does is the he? tag question? Sorry? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Okay, let's see. Doesn't he? There you go. Doesn't he? Very good. Very good. Julissa doesn't work early in the morning. Julissa doesn't work early in the morning. Give does, me a tag question. She? Does she? Does she? Let's see. There you go. Does she? Thank you. The dog is happy with its new kennel. Isn't it? Isn't it or isn't he? Are you sure? Yes. Let's see. With this one, we, we have uh, two choices or two options. Why? Because the dog, can you can use the, the subject it or you can use he, depending uh, if you consider your dog as, fam as a family member, you can use he. That's why I have, uh, I have placed both of them. Isn't he or isn't it? Right? The dog is happy with its new kennel. Isn't he or isn't it? Kennel is the house, a house, a small house for pets, in this case for a dog. The company is not interested in modern raw material. Can you give me the tag question? Hello? Isn't it? Is it? Is, is it? it? Is it? It is the company. The company is not, or the company isn't. In this case, is it? All right. Vanessa and Ernesto are working overtime today. Vanessa and Ernesto are working overtime today. Aren't there? Aren't they? Sorry. Uh, aren't aren't today? Yes, yes, very good. Guadalupe and Brandon aren't in Mexico. Are they? Are they? Are they? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take a look at uh four more examples. We should change the light bulbs. We you should we? change. Sorry? You lend we? Shouldn't we? Yes, shouldn't we? 
The brick and mortar store shouldn't stay out of modern selling. The brick and mortar store should not or shouldn't stay out of modern selling. Yes. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't shouldn't it? Yes. Well, sorry. Should it? Say shouldn't because <laughs> it's, it's shouldn't over here negative. So the top question is affirmative. Should it? Yes. Rocio broke broke her ankle last night. Tell me. Rocio broke her ankle last night. Didn't, didn't she? Right, didn't she? Didn't she? Grecia didn't win the lottery. Did she? Okay, did she? All right. Yes. Like I said, there is a lot to cover. We have many tag question options depending on the structure and the auxiliaries. So let's take a look at some examples that we will be doing together. Uh, I'm going to be writing down the, the tag question right there. Let me see how big we can make this 24. All right, let's begin with the first one. It says, she ate a bug last night. Anyone? Did she? Didn't she? Didn't? Didn't she? Yes, didn't she? All right, didn't she? Exactly, exactly. Because we got eight in the past form, so we need the auxiliary did. Emerson will buy Emerson. Hello, you're gonna buy a Ferrari. Emerson will buy a Ferrari. Did I? Um, one. <laughs> one, one, he? you will, you will. One, uh huh, one. One he? he? One he, yeah. Give me a ride, Emerson, if you get it. <laughs> okay, sure. Esta es, esta es vida. Esta es. All right. Kathy is sad today. Who's Kathy? I think Katia. I meant Katia. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> All right. Athia, your name is Athia. What yes. <laughs> All right. So, Katia, you sad today? People? Isn't she? Right, right, exactly. Isn't? Isn't she? Very good, very good. The song isn't that catchy. The song isn't that catchy. Is it? It. it. Is it? Oops. Well, actually, the uh, this uh, I don't know if you found if you saw the the news or you found out about about how EA or yeah IE the the how you call it how do you call it man the A AI. The AI destroyed uh, Bud Bunny's career a couple of days ago with the song. <laughs> oh, wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> Mauricio looks tired tonight. That's me. Or you, Mauricio. <laughs> yeah. You. Both, I'm both trying of to. Us. Hey, both, do I look, okay. Do I look he... tired? No, no, no. Isn't, isn't, he, isn't he? No. 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 Because we're not using is in the sentence. Oh, uh, didn't? No, because she... it is not, it's not simple past. Looks. Mauricio looks. Uh, yeah. 
Does he? Um, does he? In that case, does because it's a verb, you have to do yeah. to use do or does, right, teacher? Mm, yes, the thing is that we're using simple present with the third person because you see the verb look has the s. So it, it, with that, you get that, that you're using simple present, third person. And remember that we use the auxiliary does for she and he. And also it, yes. So in these cases, it doesn't he. We cannot say don't he, all right? That's not correct, grammatically speaking. Yes. Look, Fabricio, hello, look at this example. <laughs> Fabricio doesn't drive every day. Do I? I don't know. He? Right, does he? <laughs> Fabricio doesn't drive every day, does he? Eric didn't play video games yesterday. I'm sorry, Eric. Maybe today. Guys, that question? Does he? Uh, didn't he? Didn't know. Didn't know. Did, did, did he? he? Did he? Sorry. Exactly. Did he? Did he? Right, right. Did he? Very good. Mario should get a brand new card. Car. Mario should get a brand new car. Shouldn't he? Shouldn't he? Shouldn't he? And the last one, Elizabeth can't play the violin. Can she? Wins. Flawless. Victory. Wait, I cannot write it. Is that this message keeps keeps popping up? Let me move it. All right. Can she? All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation. It, it is easy like this. Let's see what happens when you when it comes uh to the practice. I want to hear you guys sharing examples uh by speaking, but I still, or there is one more activity to do. But before we continue with the next activity, do you have any questions about tag questions or about this over here? Or tag questions? <clears throat> Tell me. No, we're good. Guys. No teacher. All right. Next. This one is is for you guys. You have the examples and you have the answers. It is just you you just have to select the answers. D is already selected right there. Look. Yes, her dad works for TAP or TAP. That's a company in, in Portugal. Yes. And there was the, doesn't he? Her dad works for TAP, doesn't he? All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of, a few minutes. Let me give you four, four minutes. Read each, each sentence or each statement and match the statement with its corresponding tag question.
All right. Let's see. I need the uh, participation of uh, Eric. Eric, read number one. I mean, read number two. Her mom bought that one. And uh, give me the tag question for that statement. Go for it. Eric, go for it. Eric, you said Eric? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. But the second and the third, I have a dot. Okay. I'm not finished. Uh, those but the four is no, I'm sorry the three and four I not completed but I have the five is okay, let, let me see. okay. Take, take it easy you don't take it know easy. okay wait take it easy let me see who who's got number two who's got number two guys her mom is a uh, uh you got it well who's I got see, this one I see uh, is isn't, isn't he no. Isn't he? No, he's not. Uh, isn't, she. Isn't, isn't she? Sorry. All ah, right, right, right. There you go. Her mom is a read it, read it, Eric. Okay. Her mom is a lawyer. The the letter, letter G isn't she? Read, this is the answer. Read all of ones. All, all, all the yes, all, all at once. All at once. Okay. Uh, she's got two siblings. No, no, no. The second one, but all at once. Uh, okay. Her mom is a lawyer, isn't she? Ah, there you go. Thank you. Yes. That is the one. But what what are we placing right here? Oh, right here we're placing the J, right? I was confused. There you are, J. J, for let sure. Me, let me change the color. I only I have a question, coach. Okay, ask me. Uh, the letter C is correct. R and I. Yes, I forgot to explain that to you guys. <laughs> I will do it, don't worry. Yes. Let's see. Let's see what you guys got. Let's continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain. Don't worry. I'm gonna explain. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Thanks. Uh okay, that one is J, right? J. Number three. Mauricio, read number three, please. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, she she's go to siblings. Um, is doesn't she? Um, I don't know, no, no, sorry. Yeah, uh, Saria. Um, I think that is correct. No. Let me help you out with this one with number three. So that is that expression is not is is uh, kind of confusing. I have Ronald, yes. Is uh, H hasn't she? Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes, I'm gonna explain it why. I'm gonna explain why. Letter H, exactly. Ronald is right. All right. To say to say that we have uh I hope I don't, yeah, it's gonna, let me erase it. When I wanna say, when I wanna say that I have uh, something, I possess something, I I say I have a car, right? As you can see, I have a car. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. And there is another, another way to say I have a car, but in this, in this one, you are using the auxiliary have and got a car and it's basically the same thing i have a car i've got a car the same thing yes 
the things that we're using have over here as an auxiliary. Yes. This expression, I've got a car, is commonly used by British people, by British people or from, from, uh, from England. And over here, she has, she has a sibling. Siblings, right? Two siblings. She has two siblings. But over there, it's not, it's not, she has two siblings. Right there is, she has got. She has got two siblings. Right. Wow. So gives me some fun sometimes. Sorry. She's got two siblings. There you go. And this this uh cheese is has she has got two siblings. She has got two siblings, she's got two siblings, that's why we're using, or that's why the tag question is hasn't she. All right. Yes, very good. Let's continue with number four. I'm going to explain this one to you. I am going with you. I am going with you. The tag question over here is letter C. Letter C. Why? This is the only way, listen to this. This is the only way or the only uh, time. I can say time, right? Let me see. Structure. This is the only structure in which you will see R with I. Grammatically speaking, we cannot use I with R. We use I with I am or I am not, right? But uh, when we're using tag questions or when we are dealing with tag questions, we use aren't I. When it is affirmative, we use am I, am I, but when the tag question is negative, we do not use uh, um, we use aren't I. Why? Because there is no contraction of am not. There is there is no such thing. I cannot I cannot say this. You already know that this this contraction doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like amt, amt, that it doesn't exist. It doesn't Maybe. exist. Yeah, I'm right, amt, but it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So I cannot say amt I. That is not really correct. That's why we're using R in that case, aren't I. This only goes when the tag question is negative with I, aren't I, all right? This is the only structure in which you will see R with I. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. For sure. All right, all right. Don't forget about that one. Yes. I'm happy, aren't I? See, I'm happy, aren't I? Yes. Number five. Anyone, read number five, please. Go for it. Dear teacher, you don't go, know go. him. You don't know him. Do you? All right. You don't know him. Do you? Well, it is the one next to it. It is the one next to it, letter E. Do you? All right. Thank you. Number six. Read it. Read it, people. We didn't see Jake. And... Did we? Right, right, exactly, exactly, letter I. We didn't see Jake, did we? Very good, seven, anyone?
He oh, left wow. early. And didn't he? All right, all right. There you go. Letter B, right? He left early, didn't he? Thank you. Number eight. Go for it, people. Go for it. They will share it uh, one day. Right, right. Thank you. They will share it one day. Which one is that one? Letter, letter F. Oops. Letter F. Thank you, Ronald. Let's continue. Number nine. Heat it, people. Heat it. I haven't told her. Have I? Exactly. I haven't told her. Have I? Letter A. Number 10. Number 10. She misses your mom. Mm -hmm. uh, letter G, doesn't she? Exactly. She misses her mom. Letter G, as you said, doesn't she? Thank you, Carla. Very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Now we're going to move on. Uh, with the one or the activity that we have in the book right here, part number five. It says they're easy. Write a tag question for each of the following sentences. Okay, every day millions of individuals use the internet to search for information. Search marketing isn't divided into three main categories. Excuse me. <clears throat> Your business appears in the first search results. CEO, I'm sorry, SEO is the process of gaining presence through unpaid efforts. It isn't uncommon for search marketing efforts to lack strategy guidance. And uh, the first step of any search marketing strategy is planning. Guys, go ahead, three minutes. I'm going to give you three minutes to finish this exercise or this part, and then we will share the tag questions. Only just to add the tag question, just that. Don't add anything else don't, or don't rewrite the sentence. Just write or give me or uh, place the tag question next to the statement.
All right, let's begin. Uh, let me choose people directly. Let's begin with Magdiel. Magdiel, read the sentence or the statement and give me the third question. Every day, millions of individuals use the internet to share for information. Search. Search, yeah, to, sh to share for information. Yes. Mm. Didn't they? No. Just look. Use. Is that in the past form? Do they? Sorry? Do they? Don't, don't they? Don't they? Don't they? No, we're not. We're not using don't they over here. Does anybody have a different a different uh answer over here? In number uh, one, are, are yes. they, aren't they? Aren't they? No. Mm -hmm. Let's use don't they. Well, we can also use, let me write it down, doesn't, doesn't it? Thanks. Uh, why, why doesn't it? Because we do not know uh, the quantity over here. It says millions over there. Yes, but we don't know if, if it is just they, right? That's why doesn't it sounds good too. Yes. Don't they or doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Magdiel. Let's continue with another person. Stephanie, read number two. Search marketing. Divided. Stephanie is not there. Mauricio, go ahead. Number two, search marketing isn't divided into three main categories. Mm -hmm. uh, is it? This one is easy, right? Is it? That's it. Number three, let me see. Mauricio, go for it, Mauricio. Your business appears in the first search results. Does, does it? Mm. Or doesn't? Uh -huh. Doesn't, doesn't, oops. doesn't it? Yes. Doesn't it, yes. Yes, because we have appears and it is in the affirmative form. SEO. Ronald, can you read it? Uh, the number four. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, SEO is a process of gaining presence through unpaid efforts. Um, isn't it? All right, isn't, isn't, isn't it? Yes. Okay, very good. Number five, uh, let me see. Diego, read number five. Yes, true. It isn't uncommon for search marketing efforts to lack strategic guidance. Mm, guidance. Is it? Easy, right? Is it? Is yes. It? <laughs> and we have, we got the last one. Let me... Choose another person. 
almost nobody right now. Eric? For sure. The first step of any search marketing strategy is planning. Isn't it? Right. Isn't it? Isn't it? All right, there you go. Thank you guys for your participation. Now we're gonna continue working on the book with the part number six. It says there building vocabulary. Match the terms to their corresponding meanings. Check your answers with the partner. We've got a search engine, web traffic, uh, search uh, query, landing page, SERP, search engine result page. And we got the uh, possible uh, definitions. A question entered into a web search engine the amount of data sent and received by visitors to a website, the listing of results that are returned by the search engine in response to a keyboard query, and a software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web and any web page that a visitor can arrive, or arrive at or land on. The question or a question that you guys might have is what is the definition or what is the meaning of search query? Query, well, the word query, it's a Spanish question. Pregunta. That is, that's what it is. Pregunta o consulta. Yes, that's a query. Yes, query. All right, let me give you three minutes to do the matching three minutes to do the matching go for it guys three minutes
Guys, are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's yes, see. We're going to start with... Uh, with Ronald. Ronald? Okay, uh-huh. Uh, the first one. Yes, read the first one and read the definition. Okay, a uh, search engine is um, a software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web. Repeat it. A software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web. It's uh, this one, right? Number one. Yes. Let me see. Yes, number one, search engine. Guys, do you agree with Ronald? Oops. Yes. Yes. Search engine, a software, software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web. Yes, that's the one. Thank you, Ronald, for your participation. Eric, go with the second one. Thank you, Eric. Okay, uh, web traffic. Yes. Is is the amount of data sent and received by visitor to be a website. Okay, guys, do you agree with Eric? Yes, teacher, I agree. All right, it is the one next to it, right? Web traffic, the amount of data sent and received by visitors to a website. Number one, sorry, number three, search query. Let me see who is gonna read, Diego. Go for it, Diego, thank you. Yes, teacher. Search uh, query. Or query, query. Query, query, yes, query. Query. Yes. A question entered into a web search engine. A question entered into a web search engine, yes. This is number three, right? Guys, do you agree with Diego? Yes. Okay, thank you very, very much. Mauricio, read the landing page. Landing page is any web page that a visitor can arrive at or land on. Okay, any web page that a visitor can arrive at or land on. That is number four. I think we all agree on this one. It is correct. How is your read the last one? Okay, teacher. S E R P search engine 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 is engine result page. Uh, it is the listing of results that are returned by the search engine in response to a keyword query. Okay. The listing of results that are returned by a search engine in response to a keyword query. Let me see number five. There you go. All right, thank you very much. Let me just uh, open some here to show it to you. That is giving us a lot of uh, confusion. Which one was it? Let me share this to you. Excuse me, not that. Can you see the word over here? Let me know. Yes, teacher. 
for sure. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Look at the word. It's it's giving us some confusion. I mean, the pronunciation uh, tends to be confusing. Yes. Uh, we know that sometimes letter I is I, sometimes is E. Very confusing. But look at this. Engine. Gen. Engine. 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 And over here, engine. Listen to it. Engine. And your engine. It's not engine. All right. Let me see if we got uh, a different accent. Engine. Right here. Engine. Engine. Even Jamaican is the same. Let me see the Irish one. Engine. Engine. The same, no difference. Scottish. Engine. The same, no difference. RP. Engine. Engine. Well, this one is more, more the, there's more and more. Uh, engine, right? Engine. In the UK, engine. 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 Right, there you go. So don't forget about it. No, it's not engine. And the other word that was giving us problem was query. Let me see. This one. Uh, look at it. Query. Query. Listen to it. Query. Query. Well, but this one is a uh, you. Query. 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 Right. Query. Right? Query. This one. Query. What does it mean? It means question. Look, question. Very good. Let's see. Let me share this again. There's more to do right here within minutes. Number seven. No, it says, have you heard about search engine optimization and uh, pay-per-click pay advertising? Go online and uh, look for this. Do you guys know what pay per click is? Do you know what this is? Hello? No, I, what, I don't um, know. You receive money uh, for each click that a person. Exactly, exactly, yes. You are right. You are right. Basically, basically, you know, there are many ads or there is a lot of advertising on the web everywhere. So the company or a person gets paid or gets money every time a person clicks on the ad. That's why it is called paid per click advertising. Well, up here, you can see it like that. Hold on. Look, pay per click advertising. But if you guys don't believe me, I'm going to show you. Don't worry. If, if we don't finish today, we're going to continue with this tomorrow. Let me see. What was the word? Oh, pay per click advertising. Spanish? No. For Spanish. I want Spanish. This one is the best definition. All right. Let me check this to you. All right. Look at this. Paper to click or PPC is an online book. Well, can you see it? Sorry. <laughs> can you see it, guys? Yes, teacher. Of course. All right. Pay-per-click uh, or PPC is an online advertising model in which an advertiser, look, an advertiser pays a publisher every time an advertise, advertisement link is clicked on. Let me see another definition. Uh, how effective is Google? What is an example of, let me see. Not this one. Let me see this wall. Right, we get it, right? We get it. We get what, what it is. Now, we're going to do something here on the book. But let's do this tomorrow. I'm going to bring some information about SEO and paper paper clip so that we can work on part number eight. 
We got eight minutes. In these eight minutes, I want you guys to give me examples using tag questions. That's what we're gonna do. Tag a question examples right now. That's what I need. Let's see how much we understood. Who wants to start? I'm volunteer. Tag a question examples. Guys? You love your mom, don't you? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. More examples, people. Go ahead, go ahead. We have plenty of time. The main ser the main server didn't fail today, isn't it? The main server uh -huh. didn't fail today, isn't it? Didn't fail today, right? Yes. Did it? Did it? Didn't. Didn't did fail it. today. Yes, did it. Is it? You are tired today, aren't you? Okay. More examples, more examples. I'm waiting. We will finish the clash at 10 p.m., won't we? Yes, we will. <laughs> Excellent, good example. Thank you, Eric. Guys, more examples. Go ahead, go ahead. It is practice time. We are 15 people connected right now, aren't we? Repeat it. We are 15 ah. people connected right now aren't we yes yes i heard there are there are 15 people connected aren't there no we are yes yes we are. but i mean i miss her i miss her don't worry thank you thank you guys come on more example people this topic this topic is easy isn't it You should be having fun, shouldn't shouldn't you? Um, an example. Uh, every example. Yeah, any yeah, example. Any example. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will take. I will take a, a test on Saturday. Uh, uh, want want I? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You are English, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Good example. I'm not English. Mm -hmm. I am Wanako. More examples. We have five minutes. We have a lot of work to do, don't we? Yes. We got so many things to do, have we? Haven't we? Yeah, we got a lot of things to do. Good example for this excellence. People, more examples. What else? What else can you say? It says there are uh they are your schoolmates, aren't they? Yes, good example. Thank you, Mario, for providing it. The schoolmates. Very good, very good. More? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hello, people. This is gonna. I was looking for a movie to watch. No, no. This one is is wasn't I, Ronald? Wasn't I? This only this only. I mean, the aren't I only applies 
when you're using I am. I am. For example, I am happy, aren't I? I am working on the computer, aren't I? Yes, but in this case with, with was, we, we do have the, the, the negative form, wasn't. So I was looking for a movie to watch, wasn't I? Tomorrow will be a great day, won't it? Possibly. <laughs> we don't know. She was a good person, wasn't, wasn't he? Wasn't she? She was a good person, wasn't she? All right. I was looking for a movie to watch, wasn't I? Yes, exactly, exactly. You are right. There you go. Very good. Can you erase the messages right here on Zoom now? Oh, yeah, you can erase them. Wow, can you edit them? See, Tara, what is that? Ah, you, wow, awesome. All right. We have reached the ending, haven't we? Oh, I didn't. I forgot about uh, about imperatives. Uh, walk with me. When you when you're dealing with uh, with imperatives, eat healthy, walk with me, go to the school. In that case, we use want. If it is a negative imperative, we use will. Right, that's how it goes. All right, let's finish this, shall we? Let me take attendance. If you guys have any questions, you can stay right after class and I can help you out with those questions or doubts that you have. Let me see. Let me update the attendance. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Oops. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Very much, Ka Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. All right, all right, thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. I'm here, teacher. Thanks, Luis Javier Castillo. All right, sorry. Uh, Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez López. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. I'm sorry. Ooh. And Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Present. Well, thank you. Thank you, Raul. All right, guys. Uh, if you have no questions, thank you for joining. I really appreciate your effort, the effort that you guys do every day for being here, for joining the session. Uh, it has been a pleasure to, to be here with you again. And uh, well, we got nothing else to do. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Take a good rest and uh, be safe. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Sure. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Go to bed. Go to bed. Good night. Take care, everyone. Want you.